Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to kick it off with a video showing my natural hair journey. So to get started, let's check out my hair when I was a little baby. And here's my big old afro. And generally I kept my hair in braids. My mom would braid my hair into ponytails and all those kinds of things. So it was braids, braids, braids. Um, for the most part, that's how I wore my hair. Okay, and fast forward a little bit, my hair growing up was generally always pretty long. It was really thick and hard to manage, so relaxing it just kind of made it easier. And as a kid, I wore a lot of ponytails, and I wore them too tight. So eventually my hair broke off around the scrunchie band. And maybe at the beginning of high school, I ended up having to cut my hair to get rid of the damage to about chin length. And so that's what you're seeing here. My hair was this length for, ugh, I don't even know how long, and I just didn't understand why I couldn't grow it out. So now we're at freshman year of college, and for some reason, I decided to put this horrible, god-awful burgundy rinse in the front of my head. Do not ask me why. Lord only knows what I was thinking. But <laughs> basically, I now had this very unflattering color and this chin length cut. So I started trying to experiment around with weave. Um, I added these purple pieces that I got from like Sally's Beauty Supply and eventually my weave just got longer and longer and longer. I became obsessed. It was just the easiest way to deal with my hair being away at school and dancing and all of that. So yeah. So, once I took that weave out, y'all, do you see these hairs? I don't even know where all this growth came from, but I was happy about it. <laughs> my aunt did my hair, and I was just like, whoa. I was amazed at how full my hair was and how much it had grown. And basically, I fell in love with it. And I wasn't trying to go natural, but it kind of made me think, like, hey, why not? Why not? continue along this path and kind of see what lengths I can get my hair to. Uh, so basically, that began the start of my natural hair journey. I decided to just transition and to learn more about my natural texture. In these next few pics, you can see me really trying to see the difference between my natural hair and my relaxed ends. Uh, like I said, a lot of my hair had grown out while I was wearing the weaves for those years. So a great deal of my hair was natural. But around the perimeter of my face with my leave out, uh, that was still ends because that, like I said, was the area that I was continuing to relax in order to blend with the tracks of the weave. So basically, that part wasn't looking too cute, and I realized I had a long way to go until my goal of being 100% natural. Fast forward a few months after graduation, it's now the end of summer and my family's going on vacation to Jamaica and me not knowing anything about natural hair, I didn't really know what to do in terms of swimming in the chlorine. So I slapped that weave right back in my head so I would not have to think about it. Uh, but it actually ended up turning out that I couldn't stand it. I, as soon as I got back, I took that weave right out. I was just so tired of not being able to manipulate my own hair 
and I was so excited about my natural journey that I just wanted to experiment on my own. So I took the leave out, and I was back to fogging up the mirrors and clogging up the drains, trying to figure out something to do with this hair. Braid outs became my go-to style, and I also tried some heatless curl sets. I loved curl formers especially. I really highly recommend them. Uh, but the knockoff version, not the real ones because they're too expensive. Um, but basically, I was really finally starting to learn what to do with my hair. The only downside was that the two textures made it extremely difficult to comb through and detangle. And so, I got impatient and I grabbed the scissors. So here are a few shots of my hair, freshly washed with a whole lot of conditioner in it. Just trying to see what I was working with, what kind of texture. I was trying to look on YouTube to see, you know, which gurus had my hair t style, and I just could not figure it out. And eventually I got so impatient, I decided, you know what, I'm going to cut off the rest of these relaxed ends. And Lord only knows why I didn't go to a stylist, but I did it, and I tried my first wash and go, and I... Fell in love. Since I cut my hair, I haven't regretted it at all. It's been a little difficult getting used to the shorter length, um, though it's not too bad. The only thing I regret is that it's a bit uneven, and that can get hard to hide. So I've been looking into protective styles to kind of give my time, myself time to moisturize and grow out my hair, and I came across this half wig. And I just think it'll be a good way to slap some braids in my hair for a few days out of the week while still keeping my hair underneath moisturized. Um, this is a few days ago. This is my most recent wash and go, still wet. And in this picture, you can really see how uneven it is at the bottom. Uh, but all in all, I'm really learning to appreciate my texture and I couldn't be happier. I can't wait to hopefully film some more hair videos for you guys. But bear with me because this is not my forte. So I just want to thank you guys for kicking off this hair journey with me and stay tuned for more vids. Bye!